In this video, I want to show you how to set up your PayPal API so that it integrates with Premium Web Cart. Now keep in mind that the PayPal API is part of your free account. If you have the PayPal Website Payment Pro, you will not use this setup. But if you are using the PayPal free account, this is how you will do it so that you can use all the advanced functions of Premium Web Cart and PayPal in conjunction. So the first thing we'll do is we'll log into our account. And this is where it gets a little confusing because you would expect it to be under merchant services, but it isn't. You have to come under profile And now you'll come down to API access. And you're going to come over to option two. Here again, the text doesn't really describe exactly what you would intuitively think. Request API credentials. You're going to leave it at the default and come down here and click on agree and submit. And now you'll see that your API information has been created and provided for you. Now all you have to do is copy this information and paste it into your Premium Web Cart account. So let me show you exactly how to do this. From your login screen, we're going to come over to Account Settings, Gateway Setup. We'll come down into the PayPal Setup area. And you'll find that the information here, 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 and here all match up to the information that's being provided to you in your PayPal account. So let's just start copying and pasting one form field at a time. First of all, I'll grab my API username. And you see right here, API username. So I'm going to highlight the text. I'm going to right click on it with my mouse and then I'm going to copy it. Come back to Premium Web Cart and I'll do just the same. Click in the form field, right click your mouse, and paste it in. Now let's go back and get the API password. Again, I'm going to highlight the text, I'm going to copy it, come back to Premium Web Cart, and paste it in. And the last piece of information is the API signature, which is this information right here. Copy it. Paste it. And the last thing I need to do is manually type in my user email. My user email is the same email address that I use to log into my PayPal account. Now, of course, I have blurred the actual password and signature files, but I think you can see that it's an easy setup. It's essentially just copy and paste. And as long as you know to go under the profile and the API settings, as I've showed you in this video, you should have no problems hooking up your PayPal account. To finish up, I'll click on Save Changes. And again, you'll see that your gateway information has been saved successfully. But there's still one change I need to do. I need to change this from using my real-time gateway as my only payment provider and I need to include 
using PayPal as a secondary payment provider. So now on the order form, your customers will have the option at checkout to pay with credit cards or using their PayPal account. Once again, I'm going to save the changes. And now as you review your setup, you can see that you have your PayPal account set up. You've got your API, your password, and your signature all set up. Of course, this information is encrypted inside the account, so nobody can ever have access to it. Your gateway information is set up, and this too is encrypted, so nobody can ever have access to this information either. At this point, you're 100% set up and ready to go accept credit cards and PayPal. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.